saw a Facebook Marketplace listing today for five TVs for 20 bucks. Uh, it's 30 minutes away, and I needed to do some driving up that way anyways. So I uh, threw some money in the car and drove up there. I got my business done, and then I uh, went and picked these things up. And uh, today is going to be an analysis day. I know I haven't posted a video in a while, but here's a good one. We should we should get some fun out of these. We're going to go through, pop the back off, test the CRT, and then power them up, each one of them. And uh, some of these will get a separate video. Most of them won't. Um, I find it easier to, to restore something without having to uh, do it one-handed. So the uh, town and country will probably not get its own video, but uh, maybe that one... This one, all these three, that, that's going to be parts. She wouldn't let me leave without taking that one. Um, have I said um enough yet? But anyways, as follows, we have an Orion. What, 13-inch color? The only color TV I picked up uh, from 1998. And it even came with... I actually need some of these and uh, so I got that one we have this General Electric from probably 1975 76 could be wrong on that uh, a little 11 inch 12 inch black and white George Jetson style September 75 this is solid state one thing I'm noticing is every single one of these has the antennas broken off of them. So, here's a, a Magnavox which weighs like two ounces. It's super light. You can see somebody's painted this grill here. Uh, made after 1974 or 1974 because it has the ratchet style UHF tuner. This is a tube set hybrid all the badges are missing but I saw a tube in there it's also a George Jetson approved we got the soul sharp this is the set the pick of the, the set of the pick or whatever I like these little sets this is from the late 60s sharp Missing the on-off volume knob, but everybody else is here. Little 12-inch black and white. This is definitely tube. These are neat little sets. They usually always work. Oh, DC, huh? Maybe this is later than 60s. 12 volts. 0867. 1967. Even has the uh, UHF antenna still on here. That's that's cool. But the main set I went after, made in Japan, of course. The main set I went after was uh, the Town and Country, Philco Town and Country. These are pretty sought after sets. Town and Countries. I'm personally not a giant fan. I do I do think they look kind of cool, but and I got this the, the cool on-off switch. George Jetson. Never been in one of these. Don't know what they're like. I think they're like a Predicta, but like stuffed in a smaller cabinet. I think it's a 19-inch. I could have brought a bunch of these home town and country sets from uh, South Carolina, but I didn't because I ran out of room. Don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Probably a good thing. I did grab a 17er, uh, though. That was one of the ones I did grab. Philco 17er. But 17 or 3. Or whatever. It's not the one that everybody thinks it was the other one. We'll start with newest to oldest. So we're gonna start with the Orion, GE, Magnavox, Sharp, and then Town and & Country. 
All right, it's plugged in. Oh, what a surprise, it works. No menu either. I think our speaker's open. Shall we get the signal generator out here? Do we even care about this thing that much? Three, six, eight, twelve, sixty-six, seventy-four, seventy-eight, hundred and five, and back to three. Surprise it's got. I want to get to 19. 19's where the LP TV is. But it doesn't have no menu. I thought one of these was like. Maybe. Nope. No menu. No menu. No Manuel. So. We're not even gonna open that one up. Or or should we? Maybe we should. Yeah, we'll, we'll open it up. That's that's what anybody else wants to see. And I guess we'll grab the signal generator too. Well, here it is. Kind of your generic last gasp CRT TV. I guess 97 wasn't very last gasp, or 98 wasn't very last gasp, but still, I mean, look at this thing. A couple ICs, a few caps, flybacks this big. Picture tube. No steel chassis here. Guess we can get the generator. They always have good, strong CRTs. They never had time to use. Let's go grab the generator. Always perfect. Boring, just boring, boring sets. Next. Here's the next dirt-filled orphan on the chopping block. GE. Solid state. 12-inch black and white. Yeah, that's not seized at all. Golly. 1975. Sixty here. Spiders are out. You gotta check if they bit me. Thirty-five watts. Let's uh, open this one up before we power it on. Dust City, baby. Look at this sucker. XB chassis. There you go. 12VEBP4. SCR horizontal outs. That needs to be changed. Like someone's taking care of that. Sure, it needs a total recap. I'm sure everybody will tell me it needs a total recap. Why would you power that up? It's gonna explode. Well, it was basically free. These usually had lackluster pictures. 
Apparently this one doesn't have one at all. Is there anything there? I don't think so. I think someone wants a rejuvenation. Maybe there's something there. Put a, put a signal to it. Gosh, that's dim. Can you see it? Sure can. It should be a picture though. That's channel 19. It's kind of there. You kind of see the horizontal rolling. Oh jeez. That's oh there's no brightness. The brightness is the brightness controls open. Golly. Tanner is very dirty too. Wow. Trying to pull it in. Well, that's the GE. Let's throw the CRT. No, it's got a 12 volt CRT. Let's see if I can get 19 with this antenna. Nope. Oh, there it goes. So damn. So you should be empowered to shop when you want, where you want, wearing whatever you want. And that your new car ought to come with newfound happiness and zero surprises. So we promise that we'll treat you right, 
We'll put you in control. And all of us will stop at nothing to drive you happy. <laughs> we'll drive you happy at Carvana. Your vibe isn't one size fits all. It's about what suits your body and what suits the moment. Maybe it's getting better. You. Maybe not. So instead of options for all, we focus on a style for you. One that knows you and fits you. So that you can... Next up, got the Magnavox. That's crusty. Is it a pull? No, it must be a push. I have, I can't tell any of those numbers. Twelve inch. Contrast, brightness. We'll open this one up before we turn it on to horizontal, vertical, all that jazz. Looks like somebody's made a little special cheater on that. I guess the power switch failed. Let's open her up. This was one of the screws. Let's do this together. Ooh, it's a board. It's a full-size board. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Stand by. It is indeed a hybrid. Made in America at that. Three tube hybrid. This one had a the original Magnavox horizontal output slash damper. There's your vertical output and vertical os uh, horizontal oscillator. This thing's rough. It's left of the tube chart. Well, let's see if we can't get this out. So probably a 38HE7. 38HE7. Magnavox. Japan. I'll throw another one in there. So what we're going to do for this set. We're going to bring it up on a Variac. Uh, at least the B plus portion. Because um, that filter can is a guaranteed dead. And I'm trying to save some of it. Um, we'll also get the C uh, CRT tester out. This kind of looks a little baked. In fact, it looks a lot baked, but let me get a cheater cord. We're pulling some watts. It's going down rapidly, so that means the B plus is working. We shouldn't have any filaments because the tube's out. I have a a new 38HE7. What's that say? 8 2020. Yeah, started out of what? 12? At the Variac. Oh yeah, filter's reforming. This Cornell Dublier. Oh boy. Look at cracked solder joints. Love my cracked solder joints. That's 120 volts. Uh, 
that's frozen. That's not. All right, now that our filter's reformed, let's pop our 38HE7 in. Our wattage didn't go up any, so. If one of these is gassed or something. Wait, no tuner tubes. Yeah, it's just a three tube hybrid. There we go, maybe that's a little something else. Oh, there we go. Just took a little bit for them to hit. A bit of horizontal. Let's go all the way. Here, vertical. I don't see any CRT filament. None. It's probably where we want to be. It smells like a damp basement. Oh, gas, gassy, CRT's gassy, look at that, how about that? I bet you if we take this, I ain't coming off. I was gonna say, I bet you if we take that off, it'll high voltage will come right up. Look at that. Gassy CRT. I've seen these still produce pictures like that.
Those tube sockets need to clean so bad. Watch the gases in the CRT. Neato. Yep. So this one's done. It's toast. CRT is gassy. Interesting to put a tester on it. Could do that. Hmm. Maybe it's not gassy after all. Six point three volts, it's glowing like it should. Maybe there's something else wrong. Or maybe it's just gassy. I'm not getting no emissions. Crank it up. Or is that a crack right there? It is a crack right there. Yep. I guess we could we could do a rejuve cycle on it. I don't know. If it would take that, but do a clean and balance. Oh, nice! Get rid of that gas, shall we? That was cool. That really got her flaming up. Oh yeah, no, nope, didn't do nothing for the emissions. Oh, there it goes. What, eight volts? Let's do a cathode recovery B. Risk of cathode damage? I don't think we can worry about that. Well, wow, 10 seconds for gun to warm up. Select, select her to blue. 25 seconds. Wait 5 seconds. Hold down. Timer. 10 seconds. Depress for 5. All right, I'm gonna press the button. Jumped up to six and a half amps of current. Clear that gas out of her, shall we? Yeah, it's just not having it. 
It's better than before. I wonder if it'll produce a picture. It'd be interesting to find out. Let's not break it. I mean, it's junk anyways, right? It's got a crack in it. Stand by. See, it's still no, still no heater. Weird. Oh, there it goes. Tube sockets dirty. No heater, lots of gas. That's what happens after you eat Taco Bell. Well, I guess it's spent. We'll um, we'll do a video on it. See, we'll see what kind of fun we can have. But I guess it's kind of spent for right now. Pull my tube out of it. Too bad. Kind of a cool set. It was uh, the end of an era for Magnavox. They were going over to Japanese stuff. I think this is a half American, half Japanese set. And um, three tubes. Four including the CRT. Next up's this cute little sharp set, which I'm really excited to get into. Tiny little micro TV. Behold. Is that brightness, contrast, AC, DC, CH? What does CH mean? Channel? Don't know. Get these knobs off. Look at this thing, man. It's all transistor. I have always wanted one of these sets, but have never been able to find one. And I believe these use a vacuum tube tripler. Yep. V1, V2. Vacuum tube tripler. How cool is that? I was expecting this to be tube. No, this is solid state. 1967. I am not going to power this up. This is going to get its own video. This thing is awesome. 1967. All solid state. This is going to be an absolute nightmare to work on. Oh, it's going to be terrible. Yeah, I'd much rather have one of these than one of them, those generic... Those generic 38HE7 sets. This is way more interesting. This thing just got super cool. I was wondering how it ran off 12 volts. I, I, was, I just didn't put the dots together, did I? That's, uh, this thing is awesome. I wanna see the high voltage cage. Oh no. 
There you go. Tube tripler. Actually, this is a doubler. But tube doubler in a solid state set. Early, early Japanese solid state, all solid state. Built probably like a transistor radio. Except lots more metal. I was wondering why this thing was so heavy. This set is gonna get its own video. It's too cool it's too cool to just kinda gloss over really fast. This'll get this'll probably get a full restoration and then stay in the collection. If I was one of one of these little micro not micro, but these kinda like because they made those little micro transistor TVs, but this is big. This is one of the metal ones. This is awesome. I like this a lot. Probably the pick of the litter, in my opinion. Just because of the, the cool factor. I think it's pretty rare, too. All right, let's uh, take a look at this and wrap this video up. We'll probably... Mm, I don't want to say maybe. But we'll probably power this one up depends on how it looks inside but so so cool here's the final set up on the chopping block Philco town and country George Jetson George Jetson Kind of crusty. Is that thing still alive? I don't know. Kind of crusty. Let's open it up. Honey, I shrunk the predicta. Nineteen A B P four two point oh two point six eight volt heater. Good thing I didn't put the tester on this one. My tester does not do. Geez, it's like all Philco TV tubes down here. That's a GE. That's a GE. That's a GE. That's a Philco. Well, shall we bring it up? Oh, that's not good. The brightness was at max. Sh shall we bring it up on the Variac? I think we should. I'm going gonna, gonna to lube this thing up. Oh, it's the knob. The knob's not on right. Oh, it's the wrong knob. <laughs> all right, let's uh, turn around. Get my cheetah cord. Volumes all the way up. Well, something just happened. It's called my Variac has a dead spot. Oh, you better know this thing's full of bad filters. Philco, only the finest. Can't you tell by this chassis layout? If we were at Boiling Springs, I would just plug this thing in, let it burn. In fact, I think I did that to a GE set. Sue me. <laughs> Look at that sucker drop. I'm going up. Come on, stupid dead spots.
Ooh, that's nice. See that capacitor down there that's cracked in half? But that works. We'll just let it sit for a minute. Is that already glowing? No. About what? Dirty volts. You saw it at like 30 watts earlier? Yeah, it's 18.7. Filters are reforming. On another note, This is what $125 looks like in today's world. Get you a piston and rings. That's all it'll get you. Just a piston and rings. Not even a jug. This one's got some issues. Seems like it's kind of stable at 42. Don't see any filaments glowing yet. We'll go up. <laughs> now I see some filaments. This thing's rated for December 1961. Here, horizontal. Howling. How many watts is this rated for? It doesn't say. And horizontal screaming. 101 watts. 100 watts. It's dropping. Was it 50 volts? Oh, baby, better than we got some shorted filters. Something's burning. It's a good smell. No audio. 205 watts. God, what's gonna blow? 1.8 amps. 197, it's dropping fast. Oh, it just jumped back up. the speaker where's the speaker at is it behind this oh it's over there it's got holes in it too Here, a little something. 195 watts. We'll go up. Full, full sparse. Oh baby. Yeah, that's not excessive. Something's gonna explode. Horizontal screeching.
Something's very hot. And we just lost B+. Plus. That thing definitely went open. Maybe it wasn't the best idea to just cold turkey this thing, but whatever. Maybe I should get a jump lead. I think I should. What's it gonna hurt? Everything. Live. Let's just let that sit. This is like screeching. How many amps are we drawing? 2.28. This thing's ready for six. Oh, oh baby. Live. Live action. Let's keep going. Maybe the wattage will go down. Nope. And there it goes. really seeing it now. <laughs> Let it cool off. Come back to it. <laughs> I'm gonna get so many hate mail. Why? You're destroying a perfectly good television. Whatever. It's got a bad filter. The filter's done. It's shorted. It's getting replaced. No V, uh, no UHF tuner in this. Yeah, no UHF tuner. Just a VHF model. Well, that's a quick look. Quick as, excuse me, quick as in 48 minutes quick. A quick look at a bunch of really garbage sets I paid way too much money for. So just to recap, that works perfectly fine. Dead CRT. Gassy CRT. That's awesome. I would have paid $24 for that any day. Untested. And a Philco 17... Uh, Town and Country, I'm sorry. A Philco Town and Country with a uh, bad filter capacitor unknown operating condition cosmetics aren't that hot not my, not my forte let it cool down we're still riding the short bus aren't we yeah oh yeah you better know we are Anyways, it's enough abusing this thing. We'll actually do a, I'll, I'll actually do a proper restoration on it eventually. It's probably going to get shelved for right now. The uh, GE and that Magnavox will come first. Those will get probably their own separate video. Uh, the Magnavox will, don't know about the GE. And the Sharp will probably get a uh, assessment video, but that's that's probably all it'll get. I'm going to do that one right. Do it justice. But anyways, thanks for watching. It's been it's been fun. It's been real.